Hey y'all, what's up? Today's video is how I'm going from curly to straight. And if you are like me, it usually is a special occasion, okay? Whenever you get your hair straightened. Obviously, I wear my hair curly most of the year, but every so often, I like to switch it up. I like to go straight. I like to play with waves and curls and sleek styles. And you all see me doing all sorts of different hair trends and hairstyles, but I have been itching, okay? Itching to straighten my hair since the pandemic started truly because I haven't been able to go to my usual stylist that does my blowout. Like many of us are not able or not ready to go to the salon, but y'all, y'all, I am so excited about this video because I have teamed up with Dyson to showcase their brand new Corral straightener and it is a game changer, okay? It is truly unlike any other straightener I've ever used and I easily cut the amount of time I spent to even get my hair blown out to get it this sleek, this straight was literally cut in half using these Dyson tools. So I wanna take you through the whole process. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so nerdy tech stuff here first. Y'all, this straightener is cordless. What? How? Okay, Dyson is just like, doing this technology and hair care thing on a new level. Also, it has this little lock so you can compress it and keep it really sleek and together and then let it out when you're ready to use it. But before we continue with the straightener, let's talk about prepping before flat ironing. One of the biggest keys to a really smooth, sleek style is a good blowout beforehand. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have tried to straighten my hair without really doing a good blowout and my results just don't come out right. So you've got to take the time to really get your blowout right. And I was able to get my smooth blowout so fast with this supersonic because this thing has so much power, y'all. It's crazy. Now that our blowout is finished, I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning for straightening. So now we're ready for this baby right here. Okay, so it's super cool. This straightener has three different heat settings, 330, 365, and 410. I'll be using this straightener on the 365 heat setting, and it only takes a few seconds for it to actually heat up and be ready to go. And another really cool thing about this straightener is that the plates on it are actually flexing and grabbing onto my hair instead of me having to create my own tension with a comb or anything like that. So literally, I can put the straightener to my hair and pull down without having to chase it with a comb. The plates are also constantly making sure that the heat is evenly distributed throughout the entire plate. So other straighteners don't do this. They actually can be hotter in certain areas than others. And also with standard solid plates, your hair can escape and create more damage because it's all not receiving the same treatment at the same time. And because you have more control with the tension and heat, your style is gonna come out smoother, less frizzy, and with less damage. I also found that it was really easy to get super close to my root with this straightener without feeling like I was about to burn my scalp or my ears. Y'all know what I mean. It's like you always have to hold your ear down whenever the stylist is trying to get super, super close to your root. I did not have to do that with this straightener. It's super controlled with the heat so that you're really not feeling how much power is really happening inside this straightener. So as you can see, y'all, my hair is looking so bomb, so flawless. I can't even believe that I achieved these type of results at home by myself. And y'all, my hair feels so soft. It just feels so good. It's that soft that you're just like, yes, this is the exact like level of blowout, level of silk press that I'm looking for. Like I want my hair to be straight, but I still want volume. I still want movement. I still want shine. With that in mind, like let's not create 
a ton of damage like let's find ways to create straighteners and other hairstyling tools that minimize heat damage because nobody wants it no one wants heat damage but yet it is an effect of using styling tools it just is what it is okay uh, but Dyson has just done a fantastic job of figuring out a way to make the experience and the the whole process on your hair so much gentler and yet Yes, you're still using heat but by far you are getting way less heat damage than with any other straightener on the market okay so at this point I know you are itching to grab your own Dyson Corral straightener you can head over to Sephora.com now to purchase so I hope you all loved this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts. If you use the new Corral straightener, let me know what your experience has been like and definitely like and comment on this video. I will see you next time. Bye.